to Art with Miss Chris. Today we're going to work on a rescue helicopter. And this is going to be a helicopter that's in the middle of a rescue during a flood. So boys and girls, let's get started with this helicopter. So when we're drawing this helicopter, we, um, we're going to want to create this helicopter near the top the body of the helicopter near the top and leave a little room for the water of the flood and um, the ladder going down to rescue. You're going to need today a pencil, a variety, a variety of colored markers. I just went around and found red, blue, found a neon yellow, a brown and a green but you can use any colors that you like. Um, I also used a black Sharpie to outline my helicopter before I colored it in. So that's what you'll need today. But first of all, we're just gonna start with our pencil. All right, let's get started. So I am gonna start about right here on my paper. And what I'm gonna start with is a curve. I'm going to come here and it's going to curve down just like so. This is going to be part of the back of my helicopter. And after I complete that curve, I'm going, you can use a ruler too for this. I'm going to freehand today, but if you like things perfect, I would uh, recommend a ruler. From this point, from this curve, and see I have a lot of room back here because I'm going to add a straight line, straightest line I can draw, and I'm freehanding it. Freehanding it. All right, straight line out. So I know that doesn't look like a helicopter, but it will, believe me. So from the top of this curve, I'm gonna come down to the front of my helicopter. From right, from right here, I'm gonna curve down like so. It's going to be the windshield and the front of my helicopter. So this is going to be, I'm going to call this the nose of my helicopter. From the nose, I'm going to curve down and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to flatten out a little bit and right about here, see this part? right about when I'm about to get equal to that. I'm going to come and I'm going to make a curve that goes up or a line that goes up. And then we're going to make a line that goes towards the back of the helicopter. And I actually on this point, I kind of tapered in a little bit. So it's a little thinner here and a little thicker here. So you're starting to see the shape come forward. I'm going to go to the back of the helicopter and I'm going to bring a line up, a line across, and a line down. There's a lot of different types of helicopters, um, but this type is for search and um, rescue. So these kinds of helicopters have um, a different tail than other types of helicopters, like military, military helicopters have different shapes as well. So right here, I'm just gonna make, right on the back, I'm just gonna make a cross, which we're gonna turn into the helicopter's blade that propels it. We'll work on that later. So we're gonna come back into the shape. Now let's start with the windshield. So right here at the top, we have this curve going down. I'm gonna come about really close to it. And I'm gonna come and make a shape that looks like this. This is gonna be the front window of my helicopter. Now I'm going to create a side door where my pilot is located. 
I'm going to make another window, shaping it like this. And straight down. I'm going to end this window a little bit higher up. Base a little bit. It's going to be my second window. Now my third window is going to be the open door. This is where my police officer is sitting inside and he has this door open because he is trying to rescue or she is trying to rescue someone that has in caught in a flood. So this one, I'm going to have like a big door and I'm going to leave this open. It's going to look like this. So now we have one, two, and three. All right, let's add more detail to our rescue helicopter. Now I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna create the landing. So right about here, make a, make a dot. From that dot, I'm gonna make a line that comes down, a thick line that comes down. And then I'm going to go back here on the other side of my door. I'm going to make a thick line. Comes down. And then I'm going to make about that long. I'm going to make a straight line. That connects these two metal poles. And then we're gonna move and we're gonna curve up. Kind of looks like a, a ski. And on the back, we're just gonna keep that straight. And I am gonna thicken this with my pencil. This is thick. It's gotta be thick because this is how our helicopter lands on surfaces. All right. Now in this helicopter, you can see the other landing. There's two because these type of helicopters, they land, they land at hospitals. Sometimes they land on ships. They land on a lot of different surfaces. Some helicopters land on water. Come back here. So I made two lines like that. One here and one here. And then I'm gonna make another hole that goes through. So this is the landing gear on the other side of the helicopter. Now, if this part is too difficult, you can just make one landing gear. So this landing gear comes forward a little bit past our other one. I'm actually gonna bring my other one up a little bit here. I think it looks better. All right, and I'm gonna curve it up and through. I'm gonna work and bring in the back through a little bit. And as you can see, the second landing gear is not directly, you wanna be able to see it's on the other side of the helicopter. So it is a little bit more forward up here and a little bit shorter back here. All right, so now we're starting to see the helicopter, but we still have a ways to go. So let's continue by making the top blade. I'm going to come up, make a little shape like this at the top of my helicopter. And this is going to be that big, tall blade at the top of the helicopter. And then we're going to make three blades. Now this helicopter is currently a floating helicopter. It's hovering. And that's the cool thing about helicopters is they can hover in space and they can stay in one place and that really helps them when they're rescuing because they can get in between um, trees. And if you've ever heard like a police helicopter, sometimes they can hover over somebody that's running from the police and they can shine flashlights on them. So that's a really great use of helicopters. Um, they are a lot of different things. They can be flying ambulances, um, they can be loaded with water and they drop water on fires. 
military uses a lot of helicopters. They bring supplies and they move troops around from place to place um, and search and rescue and also tourism. If you've ever been on a trip, there's a lot of different options to go on helicopters and you can see the different parts of the place that you're traveling to. Hawaii does a lot of helicopter rides. I remember being there and seeing people in helicopters. All right, so I made a little pole going up and from this, I'm gonna make three big blades. So this bl first blade is gonna shoot out, it's gonna be long, and it's gonna come to a sharp point. Okay, that's blade number one. Now my second blade is gonna come, on, go directly on the other side of this. It's gonna come out and come to a point. There's two blades. Now my third blade is gonna be a little bit behind that one. It's gonna come like this and shoot out. I'm gonna put a little topper right here on top of those three blades like that. Right, there's my blades in motion. So let's go back into the body of our helicopter and add some more details. So I'm gonna make a stripe that I might turn red later. A lot of these rescue helicopters, they have striking red colors, um, red stripes, designs, um, because they want to really stand out I'm going to make a rescue symbol. So it's just going to be a circle with a cross going through it. There's my rescue symbol. Okay. I am going to give my helicopter a number. This is this helicopter is number 43. Or you can put however age you are on it or you can make, you can put your favorite number on this, this part. So I'm going to make 43 and I'm going to write the word police because this is a police rescue helicopter. So I'm going to put police on the back. P O L I C and E. There we go. That is number 43 police rescue chopper. Now I'm going to come inside the helicopter and give it some more details. So right here, I'm going to go to the nose and I'm going to create a shape that kind of goes down. Later, I might color that in um, black or blue or yellow. I am going to come to the top and make another design. I'm going to make a shape that comes through back out like that. I'm going to make a couple lines in there. Um, I'm going to make a ladder that's coming out of my helicopter. So I'm going to make two lines that come down. Okay. And then I'm just going to make lines that go across being a ladder. And later, I'm gonna put a person hanging on that ladder. I'm gonna put water underneath because this is a flood and there's just so much water that I'm gonna have a person that got trapped in the water. At this point, you could add some trees like in the water, some basic trees. I'm just doing some easy trees here. I'm gonna put one over here too. A tree. Your helicopter could be rescuing anything. I mean, helicopters rescue animals trapped in water and floods. They rescue a variety of things. So your helicopter could be rescuing um, a dog, a cow, a human, whatever you want. So I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna finish off my helicopter with a few more details. So right here, I'm gonna make a door. I'm just gonna come down like this, and I'm gonna make a shape like this because this is a side door and this opens up. 
See, I did that, so now I have a door on that. Um, around my back blade, I'm gonna make a circle, and then I'm gonna continue to make circles going through it, because actually this is in motion, and this blade is going really fast right now to keep that helicopter up. I, um, I'm gonna put 911, 911 right here under my emergency symbol. And that is gonna be about where I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna show you one that I've been working on to give you some idea of where you can take this. So I'm gonna move on to this one right here. Okay, so this is my rescue helicopter. And as you can see, I added some more details. I added a driver inside the helicopter. I added kind of like the front of where the steering wheel is inside this window. I added a rescue police officer inside this. Now he is standing right here and he is going to help pull in my person that is climbing up this ladder into the helicopter. So he's gonna give him a hand when he gets to the top. Um, other ideas that you can do at this point is that you could add a net. You could add a net with, um, you know, like a person on it or an animal on it. Um, sometimes they do shoot down nets as well. I also added, as you can see, I chose yellow and red and black to color in my helicopter and designs. I colored in the blades. I outlined everything in a black Sharpie or a black pen just to give it more definition. I colored in the trees and the water blue and um, really brought this whole scene to life. So boys and girls, hope you really enjoy making this helicopter today. Um, take your time, draw slowly, and bring this to life. And then, if you have time, those of you that are my students, I would love to see your drawings. You can email them to me. You can post them on the Schoology page for your class. And new students, I, those of you that your parents are friends with me on Facebook, I do love to see your drawings posted on Facebook. So keep drawing and keep posting and show, show everybody what you're coming up with. So have fun with this and I will see you next week for a new drawing. Have a great day.